From Mortar to Hogwarts to Gotham, the nerds have come together to create a show for nerds by nerds. Join nerds doing nerd things as they talk about all things nerdy. Stay up to date on the show by liking the Nerds Doing Nerd Things Facebook page. Now it's off to the show. Take it away, nerds. All righty, everyone, welcome to Extreme Sim TV's coverage of the Thunderstorm League of Racing and the Thunder Premier Series and the Jane Papelli 150 here at California Motor Speedway, otherwise known as Auto Club, as we make the transition to the next gen cars for race number two here tonight as we continue to work through practice a very special broadcast here tonight we'll touch more on that in just one moment but right now we have 25 seconds in the practice so we're going to quickly run through aj's keys to the race here tonight for Auto Club Speedway, and you take a look at what the keys AJ gave us here for this evening. Key number one, Auto Club eats the tires. Stay in the draft all night long. Don't get out of that draft. And just like before, many times, don't make a mistake uh, here at this place because it will come back to bite you in a hurry. Also, I would like to welcome ourselves, your broadcasters, for tonight's event. Myself, Matthew Johnson, Mr. A.J. Capola, going to be your broadcasters. A.J. in the booth with us now. A.J. Punty, getting ready to go racing on what's going to be a very, very uh, heartfelt night and a lot of fun in a lot of ways. And, man, it's uh, kind of tough to find the words sometimes, but this community can do some great things ever so often. Yeah, um, I'm relatively new to being up in the booth and with all these leagues, but the camaraderie with um, the Thunderstorm League of Racing and what they're doing tonight uh, is very special. And I'm honored that uh, we were asked to do something like this because not knowing um, these people on a personal level, it kind of brings us down to that personal level. And it's an honor. Yeah, it truly is, you know, and I think, man, it's going to be one of those nights. It's going to be uh, fun. It makes you think about a lot of things, but it's going to be fun. And it, it makes you tear up, honestly, to think about how much a lot of, a lot of these guys in this, this league in particular honestly care about one another. But right now, AJ, we got to get through qualifying before we get to our very, very special thing we're going to do after qualifying here so qualifying here kind of switching gears aj what do you think qualifying wise how important is it going to be here in the next gen machine uh i've run a couple laps in the next gen car in preparation of tonight um you're pretty much wide open the whole time and the only time you're not going to be wide open is when you're in the draft because you're going to get arrow tight uh other than that you're going to really want to like how i said the keys to the game you know protect the tires this place eats tires uh no mistakes and you're going to want to stay in the draft if you're not the lead car yeah that's going to be the hardest part i think to keep that car in the draft watch out for arrow push remember in real life this body and, and setup we got going on in these next gen cars they're being prepared by delora which happens to be the same manufacturer that does your IndyCar uh, setup. So maybe we'll see some transfer between the two with the aero push and the things you normally see with that. Yeah, something different that's 
in these next gen cars that aren't in the current gen are there are five speeds in these yeah that is I'm, gonna... cur- I'm curious to see how many cars actually utilize that five speed from what i've uh, seen in the practice here uh, earlier tonight when i got my fuel numbers aj that fifth year is the same as fourth right uh, in a yep. normal car but where yep. it's going to make a difference is going to be your restarts when, when you come up through the gears that that is where having that extra gear kind of helps reduce tire spin uh and so as we see right now noah on track qualifying 12th right now mr noah wilson and that buddy pompelli machine at, i tell you what that insurance machine on the side that is actually his grandfather's insurance company on the side of that car and how cool is that for noah to run that scheme on to, at at tonight's race in particular yeah, I think it's really cool. Any anytime you can bring your personal life into something um and show your support for it and have them show your support their support for you, it, it's very touching. Yeah. Like it, it's pretty cool. That's why I I really like how you have a truck that has nerds doing nerd things on it. It makes me feel special that, you know, you think that much of me to have my my podcast sponsor you. Well, or not like tonight, uh, he's going to have to deal with the emotions inside that race car with this being his grandmother's memorial race. How do you, how do you manage that as a driver? Like, I don't even want to try to put myself in that mind frame. I know he wants this race so badly. What does he need to do to do it? Uh, Just, just try to clear your mind you know it's okay to get caught up in the pre-race festivities that's the reason why we're doing this to you know honor the per um honor jane um and you know once once you get lined up ready for the green flag it's time to take a deep breath and do what you do do best and get to racing yeah and as checkered flag flies on qualifying we are going to hold off on our qualifying grid because we got something very special coming right up, AJ. And uh, uh, this yeah, is going to be gonna, great. We're going to do that when they go four wide. Yep. So they're going to get ready to kind of work this out. I believe they're going to go ahead and extend the pace laps as well and try yeah, to get, that's, them, get them sorted that's out. What I am, uh, that's what I was told earlier. While they do that, we will take the time and we'll go ahead and give you your starting lineup now that we got time with them gritting in on pit road for just a moment. Here is the way they'll line up. You got Aaron uh, Caven right there, Joey right there outside second. Row number two, that's Mr. Ramsdale and Steve there starts fourth. Fifth right now is Jerry Rodriguez, Brian Huntley Jr. in sixth. Row number four, Russell Despan and Richard right there in eighth. Row number five, Mr. Crane alongside Daniel. And again, Daniel come in with your race or your win last week in round number one. With everything going on, don't forget that. He's got some momentum here. Row number six, Noah Wilson in that number eight machine to uh, Mosley in twelfth. Josh Parent and Chase Baker right there, fourteenth. Fifteenth, Ryan Decker, Austin Walker starts sixteenth tonight. Seventeenth is Phillip. Eighteenth is Mason. 19th is Drummond and Mr. Charles right there. 20. We got a big field of 20 cars, man. That's a, that's, yeah. a, that's a healthy yeah. field. It's a very healthy field of talented drivers. So here we go. We're going to start getting everything lined up here and get ready to showcase what is about to be for sure an emotional moment across the board. So they'll start getting everybody lined up, ready to go here. And we should see the lot stay on the pace car, in which we do. They'll head down the back straight away. And we'll start to see these cars start to form up, AJ, as we're going to have a four-wide salute in just a moment for Mrs. Jane. And, uh, man, it chokes you up when you see something like this, buddy. Absolutely. And I, uh, I like I said before, I'm – happy to do something because Noah's been so far awesome through this whole thing and the whole league has as he's going to the front of the field now so 
Now he'll move and we'll let my co-host take it from here. And uh, Mr. AJ, go ahead, sir. All right. I'd like to thank Noah for uh, getting me the words. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I, I'd like to pay my condolences along with Matt to the family. Uh, Jane loved to travel, going to the beach, especially cruising. She cherished spending time with her family and adored her grandchildren. Uh, Jane is survived by her husband of 59 years, Buddy Popel. Popel, I apologize. Daughters Tina, Popel Matthewson, and husband Tony of Lake Wales. Shelley Popel Wilson of Lake Wales and six grandchildren. Tasha, Trey, Tanner, Tate, Courtney, and Noah. And then seven great-grandchildren. Chase, Ryder, Corbin, Kierce, Kinsley, Ariel, and Merrick. I'd like to send, again, my condolences, and along with Matt's and everybody here at Extreme Sim TV, uh, to the family. Uh, it is an honor that I was able to do this for everybody here tonight, and let's have a fun night of racing in memory of Jane. Yeah, let's do it. Now, I know, I know his grand, grandfather buddy's watching this broadcast right now. And uh, something I didn't even tell Noah, and I didn't allude to you, AJ, even though we planned this out, right, is uh, the normal broadcast funds that comes to Extreme Sim TV for this race, it will be going back to Noah, and I'm going to leave it up to Noah to hand it over to uh, Buddy to do whatever with he sees fit that he thinks uh, Jane would have done with it. So that's what we're going to do with this broadcast. And after the race is over, I'll get that out to Noah and let Noah get that to the family. So, as we get ready here, man, it's it's time. He's got to drop back on line and get ready to go. How do you put your your driver hat on now if you're Noah and drive this car? Uh, it's like what I said before. Take a deep breath and get your head in, in race race mode. Um, you've heard, uh, I'm just going to use Mariano Rivera, uh, when his father passed away, he, he didn't go back to, uh, where he's from. He, he stayed in New York, you know, tried to keep his head in the game, keep the Yankees in it. And, um, it's kind of, I would say kind of the same thing Noah's doing now. It's, you know, he found his support through the league and his family and he's here running tonight. Well, we are ready to go racing here. Auto Club Speedway, round two, Thunderstorm League of Racing. AJ, buckle your seat belts because now it's time to thunder the green here at Auto Club Speedway. Are you ready, buddy? Yeah, let's do it, pal. Let's do it like we, like, I know these guys are going to put on a show. I know they will. These cars, they're going to be unpredictable. They're going to be in a pack all night long. A lot of drivers haven't really touched these cars up to this point that much. It's next-gen racing. It's here on Extreme Sam TV. The Thunderstorm League of Racing Thunder Premier Series is green. And tell you what, already headed to turn number one, AJ. Yeah, we are green at the Jane Pup. Pop L 150. Green flag is now up front. Aaron trying to lead lap number one. And already two by two by two by two. AJ, no surprise there. Oh, geez. Hang on to it. That's the eight below the apron of Noah. All right, bud. You got to breathe here. Got down low there. Got pinched. He's going to be inside three wide now. Almost four. He'll fall back in line. It, it is loose down there. So you're going to see them try to move up the racetrack a little bit. Here we go to the stripe. Who's going to lead lap number one? Two wide at the stripe, and it's going to be the 97. Jeff Ramsdale to the race lead early here at Auto Club Speedway as they continue into one lap number two here tonight. That 04 is going to the extreme outside line. He might have a run coming down the backstretch right now. now they are. That 23 is getting a push from the four. 
Looks like we're plate racing here. Yeah, everybody hang on, hanging on now. Two, three wide right now. One car to the bottom of the racetrack getting a little loose. Man, this almost looks like Talladega. Absolutely. I I just said that. I was I was literally just thinking that. But yeah. there are three, four wide. There's plenty of room to do it here. They there is, but I don't think no the problem here is a lot of guys don't know what to expect, neither do we. What is these cars gonna react like? 15, Ooh, that 16. 22 is a little loose. And, Ooh, oh, and the 23 spins. Oh, he's going to slide it down. Off of contact there. No caution. He's below the yellow, the white line, so he's off the racing surface. He'll keep running. Meanwhile, it's a kind of a traffic jam here for third, AJ. Yeah, it looks like I-95. Just at, like, rush hour. Yeah, just like that, Ramsdale leads here at the 97 steve richard everybody up front so right now if you're one of these drivers aj and you're deep in the field what is your thoughts as you rock it around here uh just be patient uh right now is not a time to force anything just log laps try to stay with the main pack and if a hole opens up, then you go for it. Well, is it, am I right in assuming that it's a lot of learning right now, right? You're a lot of, of learning right here on what the race car will and won't do. Yes. Yeah. Because, yeah, because uh, I was watching practice and I did a little practice of my own. You don't know what these cars are going to do in such a big pack. Um, a couple of them are running two, three cars, but that's not, you know, 15 cars under a second. No, and we're staying on top of 10 each cars other. under a second. Yeah, these cars are not separating either. I'm I'm honestly surprised a little bit generally that they are not separating literally much at all. Remember what I said about draft, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, and you remember we talked quite a bit about the draft in the keys to hey, the uh, race. Hey, Matt. YouTube's not getting any game audio. Oh, no game audio. Oh, that is not. Oh, that is my bad there, buddy. I muted it out for a second. We're back with the, the cars. There we go. I had it turned down there earlier. and Forgot to turn it back up. Sorry, you guys. It was getting audio. I just had it turned way down. <laughs> there is Jeff Ramsdale. Steve there in second. And trouble already out the back of the pack. We got a car around, and we're going to try to get you a number, and it's Ryan Decker in the 10 Oreo car that's around on the, uh, out of turn four, looks like, AJ. Looks like you got some damage out back. Oh. That is unfortunate. So we will get to our extreme sim TV replay. Is that nine. an Oreo car? That is an Oreo car. Oh, that makes me want some Oreos. Exactly. So we'll stay in line here. And just a little bit of contact to the rear bumper. Looked like the 29 got him, turned him around. He did a great job locking the brakes up, keeping it on the bottom. So he did lock the brakes up, keeping it on the bottom of the racetrack. Yeah. So this is our first uh, tropical travels caution of the race, which uh, is another tribute to Miss Jane. So we will. Man, I tell you, um, it's a great night, AJ. And what do you think? Noah is setting P9 right now. He's on pit road too. So I want to keep some eyes on Noah here. He's coming for his first pit stop in that car, AJ. So he's had a pretty good opening stint here. What does he do now as he hits pit road here? Uh, definitely not make a mistake on pit road. Uh, he had a little incident where he got a little sideways. I think, what, what was it, lap one? Yeah. Maybe lap two. Um, but other than that, just keep doing what you're doing. He He's recovered. He's moved back. Uh, back up in the pack, so. Yeah, so he'll sit there. 
And so up front right now, it's going to be Jeff leading the way. And it looks like if I look down my pit road stats, the first car on fresh tires should be back here in around 11th for the restart. Now, it is worth mentioning, AJ, we hope we don't run into a time limit problem, but I don't think we will. They have an hour and 49 in the session. So, yeah, uh, they should have plenty of time. Uh, I actually thought it was a little bit less than that. So, yeah, they should be good to go. Um, estimated time to finish if we went green is about 47 minutes. So, if you know, you already know you've got at least 47 more minutes of a racing action here tonight to, the, to cover. Yeah, and so far, the action we've seen in the first seven laps has been fantastic. I, I think this next gen car, yeah, it might be early to say, but but knock on wood, I think this car performs. Ex I think it has a lot of potential, yeah. but as they haven't r actually run it yet into a race, um, I think that's when when they actually start running it consistently. That's when we're going to see a lot of updates for it. And let's see if I can get you another shot here of a couple of these cars as they circulate around the, the caution here. Let's see if we can get a head-on shot. We're going to try to at least we can get our cameras to work with us here. As you see, a couple of guys riding around here. Aaron here, Mrs. Jane on the up above the driver's name. That's really cool. They've got her name right there above where the uh, normal... Uh, car logo sticker or driver name would go. That's cool to see out there. Riding on board the 32 as we continue to work around. And then, of course, let's go check on Noah as we come to green. And, uh, man, he's representing his, uh, his uh, grandfather's insurance company well here on the side of that machine. And you know that's got to mean a lot to Buddy here seeing his company on the side of this car in this race doing such a phenomenal phenomenal job early a good, very good looking car too that's a car you'd probably want a die cast of yeah that that's another one of those cars we talk about that a lot but they are some die cast worthy cars that we see but we're gonna get ready to come back to green you know, come back to green we are green there it is green is out Just hell of a launch by the 97 yeah, he is out by two, three, four, and five car links now. Brian Huntley Jr. right there. Steve right there in third. Everybody trying to figure it out. Now, do you try to get in line here early? Is, is that the game plan early on? Uh, I don't want to say yes, but you want to stay in the draft so you don't lose the pack because, as you've seen, we're at a two-mile track, and draft is a big, big, big thing here. Yeah, the, the so far, what we're seeing out of the way this car running is running, the draft here is almost as important as it would be at a Daytona Talladega. Josh Parent working the bottom. It, it, it is definitely a different ebb and flow to this race right now for these drivers that they're having to get used to, AJ. Yeah, I, I, it, it's a learning curve. It's a brand new car. This is the first race they've run with it. But it looks like everybody's really minding their P's and Q's and not really pushing the issue. And you see the top two starting to gap a little bit. We're starting to see some gaps form out of this front pack. But remember, they have not changed tires yet. So we're starting to inch towards that, that portion of tires mattering. Remember, a field run anywhere from 45 to 48 laps is what we expect to see out of the field run here for these top cars, not counting caution laps that could extend that a lap or two as well. Yeah. Oh, 32 washed up just a tiny bit there. I thought he was going to go collect the 97. Is that Ooh. the 97? 32. 32. I apologize. Yeah, and that's another another thing that we uh, got to get used to. Ooh, to a contact. Here we go. The 26 Ooh. sideways. Oh. No way in the bomb, but he'll be into the wall in the 36. Going to come in afterwards. Another big hit. So caution back out here tonight once again. 
and that 36 is a shortened up considerably wow there we go what we feared having them so tightly packed aj kind of came true there you get tagged there's nowhere for cars around you to go and and there it is so let's go yeah that ju that just looked like a little wash up that caused a little bit bigger of a wreck yeah um uh, kind of curious in how much damage noah has because it looked like he got sideswiped in that yeah he did and you see that 26 oh yeah he's if he, if you check out the front of his car his whole right side is a little uh discombobulated a little yeah and we're watching the replay now and there was nowhere for noah to go just right into the left front fender of the the 26 he backs it around into the wall and here comes the hard part once he backs it around into the wall traffic's coming aj and they just have nowhere to go We'll go check out Noah's machine. A little bit of damage, unfortunately. He'll be headed to Pit Road. Get that I car think they have what, to. one fast repair, yeah, right? Yeah, he's got one. I don't know if I'd burn it here. I don't think that's enough to burn it. I think I'd let him work on it early in the race and maybe use it later on. Because something tells me that's not going to be the last one of the evening, right? I mean, as tight as these guys are running, you can be really good drivers. But when you're just that tight, it's such the margin for error here is so much lower than what it would normally be right yeah it looks like he's not using his fast repair because he's currently still sitting in his box um which is probably a smart move because you're really not going to lose a lap with how big the track is yeah uh so as long as you can get out before the um the pace car gets out of four, you should be still on the lead lap. Which he should be able to do fairly simply, I, I think. Uh, I don't, th honestly, I know it was, uh, I know it was a rough hit, but I don't think it's going to be to the point that he would be going a lap down. He can at least get out, get the car worked on, and come back down and kind of break it up, right? I mean, Oh. What was a what could be a well what is kind of a rough situation for him could have been a lot worse. Oh yeah, he could have completely tore up the car. Yeah. I mean so he got kind Actually, of lucky. Is there a fast repair? There is one fast repair, okay. And I think here comes the pace car now, so it's a good move. Yeah, so he'll get off the pit road. We're one to green here. I was gonna grab an inter I was gonna grab an interview with the race leader, but we kind of ran out of time here. We're one to go green and go ahead on the coverage of the eight there, AJ. Yeah, it looked like he just beat the pace car out. Hopefully, he didn't um, didn't exit a closed pit, which because I know it was getting close. Well, even if he did, the penalty would be long the end of the longest line. So, yeah, I, I've done that myself where I purposely exited the closed pit keep you from going a lap down it's one of them cheeky things with eye racing you can do it's where they'll just like real life understand the rules right and understand yep. how to get them to your advantage being at the tail end of the field is a lot better than being one lap down absolutely i've actually but, done you that know, this way he gets a Ed? pretty much fixed race car it's not perfectly fixed but definitely better than what it was and he can save his fast repair I mean, that was a brilliant move. He's going to have that fast repair for later. His race is not over. It could have been worse. But, hey, again, take a bad situation and make it the best you can here at lap 15. It's too early on to really get uh, aggravated with it. Just focus forward. And here we go. We're going to come to green here in the Jane Propelli yeah, 150. Green. There that we 97 go. 97 with another really good launch. And he is getting the launches. I wonder if it's got to do with something with that transmission and he has figured out that these guys have not figured out. I think it's because he's the leader and he controls the restarts. True, but I'm still just clean getting up through the gears. But he's got that company. That four looks like he was... Oh, that four got the 04 really squirrely coming off the turn. 
Yeah, they did, but look at the run the 04 got. No kidding. Holy cow. And he has to check up out of it because the 97 of Jeff uh, pulls right down in front of him. Now, folks, again, just like real life, now some of the cars have normal number placement, but some do have that forward number placement, um, which we will take us a while to get used to. Oh, easy does it. Almost four wide. The two up the racetrack. As you see, the four car actually looks really good with that number placement, to be honest. Yeah. As they work down the back straight away, everybody going to scramble for positions. It is a scramble fifth on back. I think the 29 is just getting out of there. Yeah, he's just saying, nope, I'm going. I'm out. He's literally playing it like a racetrack, um, a play track right now. Which is but awesome battling. Now, I, I know for, as you see the four dive out of the line on the tied right out front of Jeff. Jeff's going to try to hold Brian back, but it's not going to be enough. Now, Brian has been to pit road one time. And he will take the race lead four laps on that on those tires. And remember, Jeff's got 18 on his. But we're, I mean, it's making a difference, but it's not making the auto club difference that you would expect. No, not at all. Uh, it might actually work in his favor oh. because he might have an extra pair come towards the end of this race if he needs it. Yeah. So it's it, uh, your, your keys to the race are right. Typically, Auto Club eats tires alive, but what we're seeing is not so much. They are. This is awesome racing. They're two by two. Yeah, this is great. Oh, look at the uh -oh. four. Tried to get uh -oh. in line. Oh. I think Steve kind of let him have it a little bit there. You know, hey, it's too early. You know, I'll let you down. Now, if this is a representation of what these cars are going to do in the real life in 2022. I'll take I, it. I'll take it. Um, of course, the old school NASCAR fan in me, you would like to see the new car have been harder to drive, but let's face it, that's not going to happen. I mean, as long as we get good racing and the cars are still safe for the drivers, I'm all for it. Now, I did find out from some sources last night, AJ, since we're calling a, a next-gen race, it's kind of relevant. They did discover a big problem with this car at Charlotte. The heat, uh -oh. the heat inside the cockpit is unreal. There was reported temperatures of 160 to 170 at times. Jeez. No, thanks. And it's got... I'm happy I'm able to do that from the comfy of my own home. And if you look really closely... Comfort. If you look really closely at the hood of these cars, you've got little uh, slots in the hood where the air goes through. It doesn't go through the grill, and they think that is what's actually causing it, because it's not cooling the inside of the car off nearly as much. Okay. Actually, I didn't notice that until now. Thanks. <laughs> so we would continue to rock and roll down the back straightaway. Steve, they three uh, wide for well, they were three wide for third. Yeah. They are just all over one one another right now. Now, I can't tell if Noah is down on power or he's just out of the draft and wants to be out of the draft. But he... Uh, I think Arrow... I don't think it would be para, uh, power that would be his problem. I think it's going to be the Arrow right now. Well, uh, now you have to start worrying. Should he have used that fast repair? don't think so I, I think it's too early again you see the great racing up front but you can't do that forever you know you're gonna have an incident at some point so why not save it for later on in case you're involved with it as the four machine the mobile one machine leads a Brian Huntley jr. leads the way and I know the league was running this as a test race for this car right AJ Yes. To see if they wanted to stick with this car. My vote would be yes. Absolutely. I don't know how the drivers feel. It might be aggravating because they can't really pass right now. But I am thoroughly very much enjoying what I'm watching right now. Yes. Uh, it's aggravating as a driver because I just about know right now they're full throttle, right? You're, you're on the loud pedal all the way around. And it's really hard if you see Ooh. again some big moves off into the corner 
Aaron gave Brian a shot, which then opened the door for Steve. Yeah, he did. And I hate to keep bringing the IndyCar comparison, AJ, but it honestly looks like an IndyCar race at one of these old. Those two guys that were shot to that inside are going to lose some serious spots here. Yeah, they are. They got out of the draft. No. Oh, contact. Oh, no, 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 no. Save it, boys. Oh, what a save by that 27 machine, possibly. Would be the number on that car. Great save. Wow. He had to wheel that mobile. Huntley Jr. leads on top of Aaron right there as well. Aaron right there. Now, this is a weird deal. Ooh, look at the blocking up front, AJ, from Brian to the, the car behind him. Yeah. Oh, he had a little flash there for a second. They're having to drive these cars aggressively. It's almost And that's like, what's making it good to watch. Yeah. You have to keep the run behind you. Here they go. Oh, it looks like a run to the inside from Aaron. But but now I'm going to play the old NASCAR uh, fan for a moment, AJ. Because I, I know uh, Buddy, he's a, he's a NASCAR fan, been watching it for years. And he, he and I is probably going to think the same thing. I don't know for sure, but both of us would probably like to see cars that are a little bit more uh, challenging to drive and not so much of a pack car. But at the same time, the pack car puts on great racing, so it's kind of a, a catch-all here to what you actually get. Yeah, I get that. You know. I 100% hundred, I hundred get that, but I, if, if anything is like we're watching right now, I, I'm going to be very happy with the new car. You see Aaron right there, Philip, Jeff Ramsdale right there. Oh, the top Ooh, side. 40, 48 is sideways. Hang on to it. Oh, boy. Oh, he's not saving it. He's but different. he is off the track. And that's almost worse because now he's not going to get a yellow. And he is down there on the end of grass coming back up. That Lowe's machine going for a wild slide. Didn't that hit. just looked like a small bump, too. Yeah. And do, and do you think there's any coincidence in the fact that the guy that won the plate race last week is leading this one? Absolutely it, not. No. Because you're full throttle already. Yeah. I mean, to be clear, it's not plate racing because you can't push like you would at Daytona Valley. Uh, I think the four is a sitting duck here. Yeah. He, he's. Bye bye. He's stuck bye. on the bottom. Yep. He led all he those goes. laps. And now, goodbye. See ya. Drop the anchor. See if he can pull up in front of the 13, which he does. He's going to keep the position. Now, notice I was sitting there talking about you couldn't bump draft like they don't in Talladega on what those guys do on the front straightaway. Yep. <laughs> it's just you got to be careful more in the turns here, at yeah. least in my opinion. So, so to, it's not, it's a modified variant then at that point. Yes. You know. Yeah. Is the best way to put it with parent now leading. Look at the lead changes already. Eight lead changes in the first 28 laps here. Oh, big block there from the 27 apparent up the racetrack to the 87 machine of Dangle. Man, that you just can't keep blocking like that though without expecting a big incident here at some point tonight. Yeah, what is it? I bump you once. Oh, hey, I'm here to bump you twice. Hey, don't do it again. Bump you again. You're going to get turned. Yep. That's the motto I've always used anyway. Yeah, and I've seen how you race. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit aggressive. <laughs> and back out front, the 32 taken. This is a great race out of these cars. But... I I think so. They're three wide for third right now. But I don't know as a driver, what can you do to, to get a gap? Is there? I don't think there's a way. I don't really think there is right now. We would have to have some severe tire uh, degradation to make that work, right? You would have to really get worn tires out there, I think. Yeah, I still think everybody, for the most part, is full throttle uh, around Auto Club, but... If maybe the tires actually wore a little bit more and they had to lift, then you would see more variables when it comes to speed and lap times. 
Well, what do you think, AJ? We're 30 laps in. What do you think about doing our first crank it up of the night? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Crank it up. Powered by Nerds of Doing Nerds Things Podcast. Alrighty, again, thank you to Nerds of Doing Nerds Things Podcast, powering the Crank It Up segment here on Extreme Sim TV. Of course, Matt and AJ Capola in the booth here tonight. We were talking a bit off air there during Crank It Up. It is really hard for us to determine right now what these cars are going to do over the long run, AJ. I, I honestly thought we would see more tire fall off than what we're seeing. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked too on the tire model. Uh, I guess obviously Goodyear has brought a good tire when it comes to these new next-gen cars, but you know we're seeing everybody's pretty much in a line. Yeah, and, and the numbers are telling the same story, right? The, the the lap times are telling the exact same story. It matters, but it doesn't matter a whole lot. Yeah, people are still putting up the fastest laps. Yeah. Now, for the guys that came off of pit road that last time, we're 21 laps into this stint for the guys that came down pit road. So we're roughly coming up as we got a battle for the lead again. Late Ooh, change number 10. There. A lot Contact of Contact in the There's 22 a, around. 27 kept it straight, it looked like. Oh. I don't know how he did it. I he's, honestly don't know how he did gas. it. He's going to gas. He's going to stay in it. He's got a lot of right front damage. But he's going to stay in it. We're going to stay green. Now, we think these cars can go somewhere in the neighborhood of 46 laps, AJ. So, we're about, oh, just shy of, uh, for some of the guys on older strategies, shy of 10 laps. So, to catch you guys up, we got three strategies right now. Jeff Ramsdale, he's got 36 laps on this stint. He's about 10 laps away. Then you've got the guys that are 28 laps into our run, a couple of one car, excuse me, that's 28. And he is about, oh, 20 laps away in more trouble front straight away. Ooh. Oh, he's coming right back up in the traffic. Oh, that's the four and that's a yellow. Well, all that strategy talk I just talked about. Yeah, that's no more. You also gotta pray nobody hits him. They're all gonna make it. Wow. Let's take a look at the replay. He's got a lot of rear end damage. And it looks like his left rear is out. Oh, never mind, it was it just didn't show up yet. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. 
right here is that four machine. They were battling hard off of turn number four when things went awry. And that is Brian trying right now. Oh. Is the car above him there? Got loose, AJ, and nothing Brian could do. Gets clipped in that right rear hard into the outside wall. Yeah, he was pretty much... He was innocent. <laughs> the wheel was out of his hands right yep. there. And with that wreck, that brings out another Tropical Travels Travel Agency uh, caution. So there we go. Tropical Travis, Travel Agency, yellow flag. And folks, we're going to slow down here under yellow pit stops coming up. Now, interesting model. We're 38 to go in the race, AJ. My number said 46 to 47. That was not in the draft, however. Keep that in mind. But they should be about 10 laps to the good if they stop here. And everybody should be coming down, right? I would think so. Everybody down pit road. Here at lap 39. Man, so the first 30, 38 laps here as we cross halfway of this race have been nuts. What are we going to see over the remaining 35, AJ? I have no clue, but I'm very excited to watch this. Now, if this is what's happening at Auto Club, right? Quiet racetrack. Can you imagine what it's going to look like at a Vegas? What it's going to look like at a Charlotte, at a Michigan? With more banking? I'm, I'm curious to see on what the next gen cars do on a road course oh they're not a road course not a road course um that too but a short track yes that would be a lot of fun heavy duty braking big Sorry, my brain decided to do a memory dump and clear what i was thinking well uh, hey that happens right that's like a computer i gotta clear yeah my, control alternate delete yeah i gotta clear my cash every once in a while <laughs> that's why i just go play far cry like brainlessly just running around on map so what do you say if we if Russell is available? Let me see if I can find him in this Honestly, I'd see if Noah's available. Well, let's do Noah. Let's do Noah. Let's see. There's Noah. Hey Noah, it's Matt and AJ in the booth, buddy. You got a copy? Yeah, I got a copy. Alrighty, man, you're still on pit road working on the race car. You're still have you still saved that fast repair, correct? Actually, no. When I came in my first pit for the stop, I um, I ended up not checking it, the box. So as I got serviced as a normal pit stop, I lost my fast repair, unfortunately. Oh, oh man. That is yeah. unfortunate. It's honestly a little heartbreaking because I really wanted it for this race. I'm down about 20 RPMs right now. Man, I, I hate that. I truly do, dude. That, that's... I wish there's a way I could give you that fast repair back, buddy. Because that just... Man, that's okay. tough. Yeah, you were just wrong place to wrong time. Yeah, I saw it happening. I tried to get slowed up, but I couldn't get slowed up, nor could I get the car turning. I ended up getting a meatball flag, but it was 25 seconds. But um, I got another minute of repair in, but I don't know how much it is. But I'm about a second off pace right now, and it's kind of... It does hurt. I'm not going to lie. Well, yeah. man. Well, well, man, I hate that for you, dude. I just wanted to say to your uh, say to your ears, I can't really say it to your face. I can't see you, but um, our condolences from Extreme Sim TV to you and your family, and I hope that... I'm sorry, can you say that again? My spotter was talking. <laughs> I said... <laughs> I said, um, from Extreme Sim TV, I do want to give you our sincere condolences... Um, uh, thank you, thank you. I know my family that's watching right now and all that, they really appreciate that too. And thank you guys for putting on a good show to honor my grandmother. Anytime, dude. You're a good dude. This is a great league, and we'll let you get back to racing here. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, there we go. Heartbreaking for Noah, I know, but we're back green here, AJ. Now, Noah's not out of points wise condition here he might not get the win 
But how does he change his mindset here? Saying, okay, if guys wreck in front of me, obviously, you know, they can use their fast repairs too. And come out of here the best point stay possible. Yeah, basically that. And every caution, I would say, even if he's not changing tires or adding fuel, come down and, you know, do more repairs. Just keep working on that car. And that mistake he made is an easy one to make. I've made that very same mistake more times than I would like to admit. Yeah, it wasn't even his mistake. He was just in the wrong place, wrong time. But as far as not checking the, the fast repair box, because what it does, guys, is oh, yeah. it, it auto-populates, right? So if you don't watch it, it'll auto-populate on you without you knowing, and, and there you go. But up front here, Russell leads the way. Everybody right back on top of each other and with this pit stop. Hey, Matt, your overlay's not up. He and Thor got you. We will go right back at it. There we go. Should be up now. Well, we're pretty much right back to the racing we saw before the caution. Yep. Just everybody has fresher tires again. Yeah, it's continuing to be a good one here tonight, though. Man, I tell you. Did, how does this change knowing now that we've 33, 34 to the end and, and you've got fresh tires? Oh, uh, well, honestly, I, I don't know. I'm learning just as fast as you are and some of, and these drivers are. Yeah, I'm honestly, oh, trouble. Oh, we have straight a away. the four and the two. Uh, looks like we're going to keep it green because the two is off the track in the grass. And caution. Oh, nope, there's the caution. We'll go back to the replay once again here. But I tell you what, um... Yeah, I'm with you. I don't know what to expect, really, either. And that, again, brings out another Tropical Travels caution. Oh, sorry about that, AJ. Uh, but caution back out again, buddy. Yep. Uh, my, 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 I don't want to do it with uh, my mic, man. <laughs> it happens. So we will be right back. We're going to look at the replay once again. And it was the two that went around here. But as you say, 30 laps to go. Big contact. But I don't think the car got hurt too badly. No, I don't think so either. If anything, the grass would have would have done some damage, but just by looking at it, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it don't look too bad at all. No, he'll get back out there. Let's make sure and bring our other screen back up this time, Mr. Broadcast Man. Okay, me. Hey, this gives that eight car a little more time to work on that vehicle. Yep, more time to work on the vehicle and get it fixed up. That four car just comes straight from the high line right into the two. I don't know if he didn't know he was there. Like, I don't know if the, they had, he had any spotter help there, but he came right down into that two and just shoved both of them right into the grass. As we continue to run here, 45. Yeah, I, I just don't know. Now, me personally, AJ, I don't use the iRacing spotter. I actually use an app called the uh, Crew Chief app. It gives you a spotter that's a little bit different than I race. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's a little, I'm not going to say it's a ton more accurate, but it is a little bit more accurate. I mean, you can... I mean, I, I've spot for a couple people, and they, they said just having a human spot for them is better. <laughs> well, to be fair, I think uh, Brett Griffin could spot with me, and I'd spot for me, and I'd still figure out way to tear up the truck. You know, but <laughs> just saying, that's what my specialty's been this season. So as we continue to run here, 83 leading the way, um, Aaron in second, Steve in third, as we will get ready for the restart. And again, if they do stick with these next gen cars, which I have a funny feeling they will probably do that. I hope so. Uh, we'll have all our custom numbers in next week for these guys. Whoa, pit road got kind of nice. 
Oh, there it is. 46 laps on the board of 75 complete here tonight. AJ, what do you do now? You're coming up closer and closer to 20 to go here. Do you think it's go time yet? Uh, I don't think so just yet. I think we have maybe another caution or two before we really get into it's go-go time. But, you know, like what I said before, you need to stay in the draft. I mean, are we... Um, are, you can't lose the pack. Right. You, you really can't. And can you hear me fine on Discord on your end, AJ? Yeah, I hear you perfectly fine. Oh, on my end, it tried to be a robot there for a minute. I'm sorry about that, man. I was or you were? You were for a second. You were a robot oh, for a split that, second. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. Don't know, arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Well, folks, a little bit of an announcement here uh, as we ride around under yellow. I've got to talk to my leagues, but I am debating going to TeamSpeak. But uh, I've, I've got to talk to everybody about it. So hopefully if we do go to TeamSpeak, I think TeamSpeak will probably be a little bit more better fit for this type of thing, AJ. What's TeamSpeak? It's kind of like Discord, but it's a, it's a little bit uh, more stable. On your voice connection and everything. Oh, okay. All right, it sounds a lot better too. Well, that's good because I, I had no clue what the heck it is. I've only ever used Discord. Well, lights are out on the pace car here once again. We'll get double file. And uh, we'll get ready to get this thing with Craven out there on that top lane. Going to pull up the side. Gene there on the bottom. So we will get ready. 48 of, of 75 complete. There's been a couple of yellows tonight, but honestly, not that bad, AJ. No, not bad at all. Uh, it's been very competitive. It's not the racing I was expecting, but it's been very entertaining. Yeah. So we'll continue to run right now as we get ready to go. 48 of 75 complete here tonight. And the Jane Pompelli 150. And I truly do hope that, especially, you know, everybody's enjoyed this. We're back green. I racing tried to freeze, but we are back green. That's actually the problem. It wasn't you, buddy. It was I racing. <laughs> so we I are. Mean, I, I've done a tribute show before on my podcast, but it wasn't as personal as what this was. Yeah. And. And I'm very honored that Noah came to us to do something like this. Yeah, this means a lot. It really does. As you see him rock it down the back straight away. Yeah, and he's keeping he's keeping a draft, so his car is getting better. As we continue to run. And, and I've kind of got a little bit of a... Uh, normally I wouldn't make, make an announcement mid-show in the middle of the green flag, but it's kind of important. I did get a hold of my diecast guy for the 164 skates. All right, so, uh, when, once this race is over, AJ, I'm going to get a hold of uh, get a hold of him and we're going to get the TGA paint for that car he's running. And uh, I'm going to cover the cost. We're going to give him a 164 for that car. Though. Oh, nice. Awesome. We're going to do that. I already know what the budget for it is because I've done it for mine. So I get with him at this, get the paint scheme off that car. We'll get him a get him a paint scheme done. That's awesome. 50 of 75 complete here tonight from Auto Club Speedway as they rock it down the front straight away once again. Uh, look, look at that they're two by two by two by three by two yeah they continue to do just that two and three wide here all the way around the racetrack right now and again we're closing in folks on 20 to go as they fight down the back straight away as everybody doing what they can here to try to get to the race lead and I think to be honest with you man it's going to be a fight to the end I don't think tires are going to matter at the end of this. 
I don't think so either. So you take one of those AJ's keys to the race and you take that key and you throw it over in the ocean somewhere. Because that key yeah. don't matter anymore. That don't open up anything right now. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that, that, they changed the ooh, big block there for the 32 of Aaron. Wow. We're seeing some huge blocks out of these guys tonight. As they continue to run this time by cars, nose to tail, two wide deep in the field. Charles right there in that third spot. Aaron there in fourth, Steve fifth. Josh Parent right there, Russell. The Spain there in seventh, Ryan Decker in eighth. Jeff Ramsdale battling inside that top 10. Battle for the race lead, AJ once again. That outside line trumps that inside line big time, it looks like. All right, we've done this once before, AJ, but what do you say we do a little bit of radio style for the next few laps? You got the back sure. straight away, I got the front, brother. Sure, let's do it. All right, out of turn number four, leader in the outside wall. Richard going to get a piece of the fence as they had the one and two. That's going to let Charles, Charles grab that race lead. Everybody going to scramble by. Far losing speed off into one and two, AJ. Hey, it looks like we still have Charles out front. You have the 26 of Richard down underneath him. Uh, that's not Richard. That's the 83 of Sean. Uh, you have the 27 still on the high side, but it looks like that 26 is going to start losing some spots. Would yeah. it help if that car had a... That's the 13. Yeah. And we're going back into the view of Matt while I try to figure out... Which car is which? Yeah, the 13 machine there. That is Charles Cotton right there in the 13. That is unnumbered right now. He'll run third. Meanwhile, behind him, we got trouble. The 04 around front straight away. He'll hang on to it. Amazingly wraps that car back around. Hangs on to it as they exit turn two. What a wreck, what a save, and we have the 83 still out front with the 27 right behind him and the 13 following right behind. Uh, no change yet going into three as we are nose to tail as we go into four and back up to Matt. Well, I the turn number four. Right now, everybody nose to tail out front looking for a move, looking to what they can do. There is the 23 Wrangler machine about four or five cars back now as they're side by side for fourth heading into turn one headed back to mr capola's base in just a moment great battle in capola one two three still in line with each other but we do have a battle for fourth but as they now go one two three they're just drafting right now they're logging laps and there's really nothing going on as a 23 and the 10 go to the bottom out of turn number four underneath my podium here just out of turn four they'll stay single file for the first three cars the battle now is for six joey right there in the 23 trying to get by richard that's not going to work everybody will die back in the line here comes that mustang to the bottom another unnumbered car but that's going to be russell down there on the inside lane as they head back to capola back straight away yeah there's really not much change they're that five car of Russell is just going to duck back in line, but now the 23 gets under the 26, and let's see if we can gain a position here. Right. Uh, they are side by side as they are now in view of you. And four out of turn number four right now. Joey right there in the 23 will move forward. Gap though about mid pack around Decker, starting to see some gaps form in this pack, AJ as they thunder into turn one right now, one, two, and three. Well, they're still the same, they're nose to tail. Ah, uh, well, well, just like what you said, they're one, two, three, nose to tail, but that 26 goes really high, allows that 87 of Daniel to get underneath them, and it looks like he's gonna have the position going into three. So right now, easy does it. And AJ, right now, as we work lap 18, are you surprised we're starting to see the gaps? Uh, yeah, kind of. Kind of. I'm starting to see how they kind of do Daytona and Talladega. 
uh, everybody pretty much runs the high line, and then you get those couple people that'll dive underneath to try to gain the position. And they start that bun bunny hop scenario, right? Is yep. what I like to call it, where you come up, you take the spot, you bunny hop to the next one, and then you now, I don't know if you've noticed this, one. that 22 has brought that second pack all the way up to that first pack. Yeah, he has definitely closed it in. But the 23 going to dive under him, that's not what he needs. Not at all what he needs. He'll try to... No, especially when he gets loose on the bottom like that. Which, folks at home, we have to explain to you guys just how hard it is on the sim when one of these cars start to bounce around start to get loose. It's like trying yeah. to wrangle in a bull. It really is. While these tires aren't wearing that much because the lap times are not really falling off, uh, as the tires wear, that bottom is not going to be your friend. No, it is not. 15 laps to go here from the Auto Club Speedway. This time by right now in the Jane Papelli 150 here at Auto Club as we close to the end of this one and more contact out of turn four. What a race, AJ. What a fantastic race. And you got to give it up to everybody in here. You know, they're minding their P's and Q's with also putting on an awesome show. Yeah, yeah, they are. It looks great. It's been fun as they continue to run right now. So what do you, what do you think your next move is up front like they are right now? Well, if I'm Sean, I would hope if he has a spotter, they tell him where that 27 is going or anybody behind him is going because they're going to be the first car with the run. Um, if I'm that 27... I honestly would try to force that 83 to make a mistake and make a move. Yeah. And that's the thing, you need him to make a mistake here. As they continue to run 13 laps to go, that Geico machine, it's the Geico out front leading. You know the commercial where the guy goes sitting there screaming at the top of his rung that he had a flat tire? Yep. Well, right now I think he's screaming, keep the cars behind me. <laughs> Don't let them buy. I know, bad joke. Yeah, you're fine. I enjoy those. Go. 13 to go here at Auto Club Speedway. You see, it's even worse when the only kid you got has four legs and they're furry. And they bark a lot. That makes the dad jokes worse. As they run single file down the back straightaway, 13 laps to go. As we continue to go with 12 laps to go, car high. Oh, 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 there it is. Caution's going to be out. And two fast cars, too. Two very fast cars. That was Daniel and Bob, last week's winner. Let's go to the replay here. Here's the yellow flag back out on the racetrack once again. Oh, the Extreme SM TV replay going to come up for us here. And big deal. 15 people out there watching this show here tonight. Thank you to each and every one of you. I hope you're enjoying it. As, as you see the contact. Oh, God, he's running a modified. Yeah, his car is destroyed with 12 to go. Which it, is another Tropical Travels caution. Yep, Tropical Travels, yellow flag. Ooh, I want to go some Tropical Travels. Hmm. Uh, well, is it Bermuda, Jamaica? Do you take your pick. I don't know. Sounds really nice. Tropical travels. As long as I have a mojito in hand, I'll be happy. Let's do a little bit of promotion while we're under yellow, shall we? Let's go to Tropical Travels and see what they have uh, got going on. What do you think? So I'm over here. We got Tropical Beach Resorts. That sounds like fun. I mean, that would probably entail 
a Mahigo, right? <laughs> now, now the thing is, you can have your Mahigo. I just want a regular adult beverage, uh, preferably Budweiser. Budweiser. Yeah, or you know, something like that. I wonder if you could go through them to get like one of the trips, like on the uh, blow deck uh, Mediterranean boats. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. As we run 11 laps to go here. And from the channel myself, I know AJ, you touched on it earlier. But I really hope, and I truly mean this, I hope that Jane's family has enjoyed this one. Um, it's been an honor for myself to come out here and do this uh, for you guys. And, you know, as a broadcaster, I think there's times to where you get to remember why you do this in the, per in the first place, right? And, Absolutely. And this is one I've been, I've done a few. And I'll be honest with you, I've done a few of these top shows where I cried like a baby at the beginning. We did one for a little boy that was fighting cancer and dude, I cried like a baby. <laughs> I, I'll admit it on air right now, but that is what this community is all about, right? And, and that's yeah, what makes this community, community awesome. You know, as, as hot-headed as we get to other drivers in the moment, you know, it's it's a big iRacing family. It doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you run. No, and, and that's the thing, guys. Like, if you guys in this community, and I'm going to say this community wide, if you need anything and I can help you, send me a message. AJ's the same way. We'll we'll make something work. You know, if it's not, you know, and a lot of things you see in this community, races like this equipment everything you can think of for the most part there's people in this community willing to stand behind you but we will get ready to go back to green here 10 laps to go and before we go green i, I was talking to noah uh earlier today and we were talking about buddy his grandfather right and, and he told me he said you know he may be 80, 80 years old, but he doesn't do anything or he doesn't do stuff that you would think he does more than an 80 year old should. And I just want to say to him, keep at it, man. Keep going. Keep your head strong. You're doing great. We want to see Buddy around for a long time, don't we, AJ? Absolutely. You know, it, it's a it's a pleasure to have him watching tonight. We hope he's having a nice night and I'm happy. Uh, Happy we're going green. Yeah. You know, we have 10 laps to go, and, you know, look who's in seventh right now. Yeah, everybody hanging on. Hey, look at that. Noah is not terrible right now. He's back to ninth, but he is looking at a possible top 10 out of this. Absolutely. I think those cautions and him fixing those vehicles have really helped. It's helped, and not only that, the other incident, right? So he's yep. still a little bit off the pace, but he's nowhere near like it was. He could possibly come out of here with a top 10 tonight with eight to go this time by. The Thunderstorm League of Racing, the Thunder Premier Series, out of turn four, new race leader. That's the former team. Where did he come from? We just saw him against the fence not too long ago. Uh, fast repairs fix everything. Yeah, fast repairs fix a lot. Yeah, but he's stuck on the bottom. We've yeah. seen that outside be really dominant tonight. Now, I did find speed earlier by myself up there by the wall at third lane. Will we see somebody try to take the elevator up and try to get a run from that very, very top lane? I haven't seen a car get all the way up there yet, honestly. No, I have not yet. I, I think right now you would lose a little too much time. Even you... Even if you would get a decent run coming out of the turns. Oh, trouble. Big trouble in Noah's yeah. involved. No. Oh, Shen is out. I don't think he hit anything. I think he just really slid, so. Tropical travel is yellow flag once again here tonight, AJ. We'll go back to the replay and see what happened, but, you know, just at the corner of my eye, I don't think he hit anything. And it's a junkyard over here off of turn four. Oh, never mind. He hit something. Yeah. The 55 collected right into him. It is an absolute junkyard. 
Look at these four wide. And they're just, ooh. Man, Noah's car took a weird bobble there. It's like it bobbled out of nowhere. It bobbled, it bobbled. Yeah, it did bobble, and it didn't, but he couldn't catch it. It bobbled so quick that there was no, there was no way he was catching that car. No, I don't it, think so. It just, if you watch and read, let's slow this down. This car bobbles so fast. He was a yeah, little. Yeah, it looked like it got loose, and he tried to correct it. Yeah. And it just, he just ended up losing it a little bit. What about that here? left? That left rear is. Is really messed up right now. Right about here, it's going to take a loose stance. I watch it, 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 but again, it snapped on him. But he had it straightened back out for a moment, AJ. So for a yeah. moment there, he straightened it back out. And it's going to take another weird set in a place that I wouldn't expect it right there. That is just a very weird set out of that car. But again, we talked about it all night. These drivers trying to learn the car, right? Maybe he did an input in there. The car just said, nope, we're not doing it. And went, yeah, you know, they're also going at what? 180 miles an hour. Yeah. You know, probably really touchy. So even the slightest try to correct probably didn't help. I mean, we have the benefit of slow-mo here so we can slow it down, but let's try to jump on board with Noah here on board at full speed what do you say let's do it we're gonna hop on board here with the eight and this is what your noah would see from the inside of his race car and look how much wheel input wow he was loose from mid center all the way off wow that car was just wicked loose all the way turned through three and four and he just never was able to get back up on it. Well, we'll come back, get ready for the restart, AJ. Jane Papelli, 150 now with five to go at the strike. So AJ Capola in the booth tonight. And AJ un. Unfortunately, this is going to be your last race for this week, I do believe. I think you've got other things going on tomorrow evening, correct? Yeah, we are on 12. <laughs> well, we are watching The Mist tomorrow to continue with our Nerdtober Halloween specials. So, fun for me, watching Scary Movie. Yay! I mean, you could have <laughs> been out here calling a race with me, but instead, you're having to watch a Scary Movie. I'll, I'll take the race over the Scary Movie, but... You have fun yeah, with I, the miss. I love my podcast. Yeah, I know you do. Again, we haven't promoted that much tonight for kind of obvious reasons. But again, check out the Nerds Doing Nerd Stings podcast. Proud partner of Extreme Sim TV. And Extreme Sim TV is the proud partner of those those guys as well. You've got AJ here. you got co-host Miss Susie. And tons more to get together and talk all things nerdy. And right here, like he said, the month of October, reviewing some scary movies. So, check that out. The last one I believe they did was Pet Cemetery, I believe. Yes. So, here we go. Green Flag is going to be out this time by four laps to go. Four to go at the stripe. Four laps to go right now. And Joey set in second. He'll fall in line. AJ, nothing he can do. Nope, not really. Uh, but did did the 83 get out too far, AJ? That's my question. Well, if it's anything like a play track, you need a couple people to get get together and get going. If it's anybody, if it's anything like a play track, he's in trouble. <laughs> and here they come. Here comes the run. He'll look out the mirror, try to keep them behind him. Nothing they can Who's do right block? now. That was a really good block. But then you got the inside line fighting. Oh, boy. Here we go. Two wide up front. Three to go. AJ, I have a feeling it's October. You talk about it being scary October. These drivers, this is going to be a scary finish for them, I think. Oh, I'm thinking same thing, 
Yeah, we're, we're getting ready to see a good scary movie next or so. <laughs> Three <laughs> blind to the bottom. Oh my good googly moogly, the fourth is on the treadmill going backwards. He's got the treadmill in re reverse right now with two to go. Leading the way. We are coming to the Tropical Travels white flag. Nope, we got one more after this, buddy. We're coming to two to go. Two to go. My dyslexia is a pain in the butt. Two to go. Now, next time by will be the Tropical Travels white flag, bud. <laughs> we come to go this time by. Everybody two wide up front. AJ, who is your pick right now? Uh, I'm just going to stick with the leader here because it looks like you really don't oh. have... Ooh, 10 into the wall. Uh, you really don't have a push because right now he's set up to get pushed oh that 32 they're making it three wide here we go three wide on back they'll straighten it back up now out of turn number four the tropical travels white flag will wave as they wreck behind them do they make it to the strike does the yellow come out first white is in the air we are one to go here at auto club aj i think that 23 setting them up oh boy and never mind never mind if he didn't wash up he was gonna lose that spot and need it wash up that 87's right on that 83's bumper right now tell you what buddy setting over there on the front straight away it's a tanker flag in hand when they come back around who is gonna get there to get it done oh that 87 might have a run to that outside which he does go trying to get two in a row they wreck behind him Go. God, that leader's lacking. Big wreck to the bottom. Coming to the checkered flag. And it's going to be the 32 of Aaron. Wow. Wow, what a finish. And what that is finish. how we do it. Right there. And they're wrecking into one. But I don't it know, was, if know if the race is over yet. <laughs> one more look at this checkered flag finish as they came out of turn number four here tonight to get the checkered flag good that, he, that 83 knew he was getting past so i think he wanted to try to side draft or give him a little bump and not completely turn him like he did but what a finish uh, you hate to see tore up race cars as the tropical travels white on the tropical travels white flag here but you kind of expect it after a race like tonight such great racing and it ends with the 32 going to victory lane in the Jane Pompelli 150 at Auto Club. Wow. Now, my question is, where officially was the 8th scored and all that? Noah going to be scored 16th. 16th and all that. So he'll come home top 16. But we're going to get ready to get our interview in with our race winner and our top three here tonight yep. in just a moment. But what a race, AJ. Yeah, very entertaining. I was very pleasantly surprised about all these cars. Well, I think my vote is next year cars all the way. Of course, our vote yeah. don't really matter the drivers will have to figure it out but if it was up to me i wasn't driving the car but from what we've seen tonight if this is what is this going to be then this is going to be awesome so we will get ready here aaron up front with the win and I don't see Aaron in. There is 24 is down here. I don't see Aaron, do you? No. So let's do this. We'll change it up. Let's grab uh, Noah right quick. Hey, Noah, man, it's Matt in the booth. You got a copy. Hello. Hey, man. Hey, Noah. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. I'm really, really, really disappointed in how that went. Well, man, you kept your head strong. You kept going with it. You come home. Uh, looks official to be 16th, but way to go to keep running, man. 
Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I kind of just kept my foot in it on that last lap. I wasn't expecting the guy out there to end up getting hit the way he did that came down right in front of me. But I probably could have finished a little better considering they all crashed. But yeah. I tried my best there. I tried to get what I could get after being involved in an early crash, and I lost my fast repair. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I got a little bit of surprise for you. I don't know if you heard it on air. AJ no, kind of AJ knows. So after the ninth race, I need you to get me the, uh, or I'll get it through your ID number because I can get it that way as well. I'm gonna get your TGA file for the paint scheme on your car. All right. Okay. And I've got a friend of mine that does 164 scale race diecast cars. Really. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get your paint scheme done up in a 164 diecast for you. Uh, and uh give it to you and hopefully that helps out a little bit and on top of that i've been i've been talking to him and i got one more thing for you bud okay with since it's your grandfather's company right right we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make two of them one for you and one for your grandfather man i i really appreciate that you're gonna make these in the next gen cars or is it gonna be the older ones that's the what we're trying to figure out right now because he don't have the next gen mold uh, so it'll probably come in the uh, old uh, body style, unfortunately, because nobody has the next gen molds yet. Right. But uh, we'll get it on the on the car your choice, Ford, Chevy, or Toyota, or whatever. Chevy, one hundred percent. And we'll get that out to you and get that. Well, I'll get working on that uh, tomorrow morning. I'll probably message you on Discord and get some more details about it. Thank and, you. I really, really appreciate that. I really, really do. And so we're gonna get that took care of for you. I had one. Uh, but I, I had, don't know what to say. To that that's I, I. I really appreciate that. Well, man, my grandfather's gonna be really happy to hear about that too. That's that's the least we can do, buddy. Um, car is beautiful. I have to say, our paint scheme he, level he, is beautiful. He designed it. That's his paint scheme. He came up with the idea. I remember I asked him, "Hey, what do you want for a paint scheme?" And this is that, that he wrote it on a piece of paper, and that's what happened. Well, we got well, it. Guy knew what he wanted. Exactly. Now it's going to be on a diecast. Can't top that, uh, no, right? Nice. No, you cannot top that. I'll actually send you the uh, spec map as well from the um, M4. from Ooh. Trading Paints as well. If you need that as well, I can send that to you as well. All righty, man. Well, dude, I hope, I really do, me and AJ both, I hope your family really enjoyed tonight's broadcast. I do too. Um, I'm gonna, I, I bet you they did. I know for a fact they did. My mom, when I told her, <clears throat> what's on the tv she saw my grandmother's picture and her eyes were getting a little watery there so i know it was something sentimental to them and i really appreciate y'all for doing that i really do and especially what y'all are doing now with the two die cast i can't thank you guys enough for that it's no problem man this is what this community is about 100 um, percent well with that man you know you've still got uh, 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 a week to, to go through forward here with Thunder Premier Series. What did you think of the car over overall, man? Like, what did you think? To be fair, obviously I got caught up, so I didn't get much time in it. But I did get, you know, a little bit before I got loose and got into that big wreck. Um, I think, I think it's it's hard to put it at a bad spot versus a good spot it's kind of like what you want for your style i think in a way i think it takes away the driving skill away from it so if i were to put it in that kind of criteria it's i wouldn't rate it very high maybe like a three out of four i mean three out of ten but if you were to put it in the fun spectrum i would probably give it an eight out of ten because it's i mean it's racy it's very easy to drive however it's kind of the way you want to look at it. And I kind of like having the skill because I like having to be able to right. rely on the fact that if I get caught up, I can trust my skill to maybe catch up to the field. But without the draft, I can't. So I think if I were to give it a total, if I put both aspects into it, a total scale, a total grading, I would probably get it a 5.5. A 5.5 grade of overall how these cars drive. Now, I mean, I, I'm just going by what we watched tonight, and I wasn't expecting pack racing like you'd see at a plate track, but right. it, it looked, it was very entertaining to watch. Yeah, it, I mean, it, 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 honestly, it, that's what I was talking about. Like, it had that fun factor in it. Like, these cars were definitely fun. It was a bunch of pack racing, 
but it's just like there's I don't think there's that skill level there where you you, you really need to practice and know the track in order to to do successful in these cars you know yeah man now I got a question for you as we're talking about cars now your your grandfather is big in the in the NASCAR right yes he's what got me into it he was I mean he was there since 1959 I mean no so he's been watching this for, I would really love to get his opinion next year when these next gen cars come out I would, I will, I'll let you know because um, him and I both we tend to always go to Daytona. I live two hours away from Daytona. I'm in, I mean, I live in Central Florida, and he seems pretty interested in these cars. Honestly, you know, he likes the one lug nut thing. He thinks it's easier for the guys. I mean, he's just he likes the one lug nut. Um, he's he's always big on wanting the cars to be like the true stock cars, meaning just gut the car, put the roll cage in, and go out there. But yeah. Um, I think he's kind of excited about these cars. Honestly, I haven't heard anything negative about these cars yet. But I'll definitely let you know his opinion when he sees them for the first time. All righty, man. Well, again, Noah, it was a pleasure and an honor for me and AJ to call this thing. Hey, it was, it was, I was so thankful for you guys, and I'm really thankful for y'all to really put on the show y'all did. It really means a lot for me. I think I know y'all did a very good job. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm excited to watch it. I can't thank you guys enough for putting on this kind of show and especially getting the two die cast i really have no words for that i other than just thank you thank you so much oh man i'll tell you what i'll talk to you later on tonight buddy go relax go on the line great job great effort tonight man yeah i appreciate it. i'm so disappointed in how this effort went but you know what my grandmother was here they would say just do it next week so i think for the rest of the season i'm definitely going to dedicate to my grandmother i'm definitely going to try so much harder for better results back to back bad weeks but it's not how you start it's how you finish well, well you got to remember man you came off the xfinity car first race in these cars if we right. do which i'm not a uh, admin if we do end up running these cars for the mm -hmm. foreseeable future i would I, I would think being in the same car each week would help right uh, and you know so we'll see how it goes and i'm at a broadcaster point of view i'm very interested to see how these are going to react if we take them to a plate track as well. I, I agree. I think maybe there's a chance to probably act like the cup cars now, but I think we're going to do some testings throughout the week and these cars in a short track mile and a half and a super speedway. What do you mind if I come out and take part in these test sessions? Oh, absolutely not. Come on down and join one with us. We'd love to have you. Yeah, and four, buddy. Well, we'll talk to you a little bit later on, man. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you guys again so much, guys. Thank you. Alrighty, there is Noah AJ, and uh, I think I even shocked by uh, co-commentator not AJ. Did I shock you a little bit? Yeah, I, I you think you shocked us both with that. Um, very, very generous of you, and I'm, um, you know, I I know it means a lot to him. So it, it you know, it, you could hear it in his voice. But yeah. let's bring up our. Um, I think he finished second. The number two? Yeah, I finished second of uh, Jerry Rodriguez. So why don't you bring him up here? All right, Jerry Rodriguez, man. Matt in the booth. Got a copy? Yeah, I got you. All righty, man. Crossing the stripe second here tonight, buddy. Yeah, it was a tough one. A lot of tire wear. Just trying to hold on to the car. Well, man. I mean, the seas parted for you right at the end right there. What was going through your head when that happened? I'm honestly just try to win this race i mean we came short like we couldn't get the draft right there but i'm fine with the p2 right now so last week i think you guys ran the xfinity cars and you, this week you were contemplating on either the next gen or the xfinity cars uh what would be your grade for these new cars um my grade i mean they run pretty good but it's just right now it's just the package which i'll probably just give it like a five out of ten right now yeah that's what uh that's what noah gave it earlier um i'm gonna throw it over to matt because i think matt's got a couple questions for you and yeah well, well it's not really a question it's interesting interesting to hear these numbers because aj from our point of view 
you know, we would, as broadcasters, we would give it 10 out of 10, 20 fingers up, right? But as a oh, driver, yeah. with this package, Jerry, it, it, do you feel like you can't do anything to control your own destiny, kind of, is the problem? I mean, yeah. Like, the whole time during the race, trying to get a massive run was really important. I mean, half the time you had a side draft just to get a really big run. That's what I did most of the time, just to get a lot of spots. But when you get left out of the draft, you just get left behind. Yeah, it looked like a plate track in in most ways. Yeah, um, I'm did. guessing that's kind of how it felt behind the wheel, that if you weren't in the draft or you weren't getting a push, you were probably going to get sent backwards. Yeah, happened to me a couple times throughout the night. I mean, at one point we got to the lead. We got left out right there as they're running single file in like the middle in that high lane. Then that just sent us back to like P8, but we managed to come back through that. Yeah, you definitely had a strong car tonight. Um, either that was you work in the draft or just great power and, you know, you had the best line. But it, I, I'll tell you this, it was definitely entertaining to watch tonight. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I still had some of the side damage from one of the wrecks when I got contact with the four. Fixed all that with the optional and saved the fast repair. Didn't use it. So I say we turned out pretty well. <laughs> all well, right, dude. Well, good race tonight and um, good luck next week. And hopefully we get to see these cars back on the track. All right. Thank you. Well, hopefully we do, AJ. I I'm, I'm kind of not shocked at the driver's opinion. I know we're going to talk to the winner here in a moment, but I'm not shocked at the driver's opinion on that car. No, yeah. not at all. You know, it, it's hard as a driver if you feel like you're not in control of your own, own destiny as far as driving these things. But we're going to talk to, to the race winner. Now, what do you think his opinion will be? Let's talk to him. Yeah, let's talk to the race winner, and then we got one more after the race winner. Yep. So, Aaron, Aaron, man, Matt in the booth, you got a copy. Yes, sir. How are we doing? Doing good. Well, you came out of turn number four, and looking ahead of you, you saw chaos, and you drove that car to victory lane. Yeah, man, it was it it was wild there at at uh, th th the end. But uh, first and foremost, I want to uh, dedicate this uh, this ran and race to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, Noah's a grandmother. We're all uh, thinking of of um, him uh, during uh, this time. For sure. Yeah, man. you guys are like a huge, big family, and it's very it's refreshing to see, but. You know, I'm gonna start calling you Noah because you lit. You saw like the whole track like part in front of you. Yeah. And uh, what were your thoughts when you saw that happen? Um, I was just kind of in a uh, shock. I, I was like, "What just happened?" Because I guess like it was like 20 laps before I was up front and uh, two cars got 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 into each other, and I had nowhere to go, and I plowed in the back of them, and I was down. In the back, and I was, I was, I was a uh, way off pace. And by point, I had just figured, well, if I don't have a, a caution, I'm done for. And then I, th I think we got one. We 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 got one with about uh, ten laps left. And yeah. I knew, I, I knew, I was like, okay, I'm going to just stand. Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to go uh, full uh, stand right now. And it kind of pay, 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 paid off. Yeah, congratulations on the win. It was, it was definitely. I was not expecting the thirty-two uh, to to be the winner. You know, go going into three, and then coming out of four, you have the two cars in front of you wreck. And you know, I tried not to scream because I have people, you know, trying to sleep, you know, yeah. upstairs. And I was like, Me too. Thirty-two just made the win. Thirty-two just made the win. I'm trying not to be loud. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Oh, yeah. Me too. I, I, but I was going wild. I did enough of being loud for the both of us. I was over here screaming. <laughs> but, dude, congratulations on the win and hell of a burnout. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Uh, anybody you want to thank or any sponsors? or? Um, 
I just want to thank. I, I mean, I don't mean. I mean, I don't mean no. Right, right now. Uh, thank, uh, thank y'all f- for uh, streaming the, the, uh, this, this uh, race and uh, and the uh, and the uh, league. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Anytime. We're really enjoying this league. Yeah, I mean, so like, it's going to be interesting if we keep these cars going f- forward. I don't think we will, but it is what it, what it is. How how was the race f- uh, from? Uh, it was awesome. Be, it was amazing. It was awesome to watch. <laughs> it, it, you guys were side by side and using the draft, and it, it was pretty awesome to watch. Go back and uh, go back and take a look. You know, well, after it finishes and processes, it was yeah. very very fun to watch and very fun to call. Well, from 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 the uh, c- 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 cockpit, it was nerve wracking. Oh, the whole the, the, the whole race. I was like, this is it. Like, this is just too, 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 too much. But hey, man, I won, so it's all good, right? All right, my guy. Congratulations on the <laughs> win, and we're actually going to talk to third, uh, third place uh, Joshua Parent right now. Thank, thank you guys. Have a, have a uh, good night. You too, dude. You too, dude. All righty, man. Well, it's interesting to get everybody's opinion on this, AJ, because it kind of varies differently a little bit. Yeah, this is really helping me because, you know, I'm looking to run some next gen stuff. So I'm trying to pick everybody's brain and how the car felt and everything. And let's bring up third place and then we'll talk to Sean in the 24 real quick afterwards. Yep. So let's talk to Joshua Parrott right now. Yeah, Joshua Parrott, Matt up here in the booth. Got a copy? He is not in here yet. Oh, well, I hit the wrong button, didn't I? He so, probably did. But it's okay. I'm stalling for time till you get him up here. Okay. Thank you for doing that. I'm going yeah, to Discord getting him here. Hmm. All right. <laughs> let's see if Discord wants to move him this time. Good job stalling. The lowest yeah, yeah, I tried. Matt in the booth got a copy. How you doing, man? Doing good, man. Well, what a night it was of racing. Uh, yeah. It was very interesting, to say the least. Well, dude, you did it all and you made it work here. Um, P3, are you happy with that? Your thoughts on the car? There's so much to look at. Oh, man. I never, uh, I don't know. I, I knew it would come down to the last two laps, just seeing how everyone was racing. So the majority of the race, I was just trying to, I really was not trying to get to the lead because I assumed that's when everyone would like dive it and maybe slide up or something. So I was just trying to push the leader, like 90% of that race. Just stick to the high side because you can, you could full throttle right. it behind them almost, and you're you wouldn't lose the front end or anything. So I was just trying to push them, uh, and then coming to the end, I just got kind of in the wrong line when the uh, front two were racing, fell back, and then it's just it's crazy. I don't know. It's hey, not a lot of you not a lot of horsepower or anything. Good thing you weren't with those front two though. Oh man, yeah, that was that was crazy. I I didn't even realize I finished third at the end of that. <laughs> oh, we realized it. I was shocked that those two got together, and you know, you you three just shot right by. Oh yeah, man. I thought I had, I I was in fifth coming out of uh, three and four, and then I saw a three, and I, I rewatched it. It's, it's heartbreaking to see that right at the end. That's where you lose it. Yeah, it, it was a crazy, crazy night overall, brother. Uh, most definitely. Yeah, these are definitely, if you want to go to race something where it's kind of like where everyone is racing together and it's a bit easier, you know, and you, you don't really want to have to depend on as much skill, then it's perfect for you, like perfectly made for you. Um, So... Well, do you think we'll stay with these cars, or do you think we'll go back to the other variant? I am not too sure. I think we're going to put it to a vote. So, I uh, I, pr- I I prefer having a throttle control. So, ten four. I I personally myself, I'm uh, I'm like that as well. I'd prefer to have throttle control, but hey, these oh, cars yeah. also put on a good show, so it's kind of hard for me. To, to oh, most definitely. Way. If I was in the stands, if I was in the stands, I would have loved it. You know, yeah. Is everyone real close, racing three, four wide through the corners every lap. Most definitely, it's entertaining. 
Well, man, you did a great job here, and I tell you what, you continue to work your way through. And again, congratulations on a wonderful go here tonight. Thanks, man. All right, um, AJ, you got, got anything we, further? We got one more. Uh, he's been patiently waiting, and he wants to give his. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, thoughts. The twenty-four of uh, Sean Derryman. All right, which I hope see. I said right, but you know, me with names not good, but here me he is. Me with names not good either. What's up, Sean? Oh, oh, hello there. How's it going? Well, sorry for the delay. We wanted to kind of talk to uh, first, second, and third, and Noah because of you know what the race was. Yeah. It's all good. Thank you for interviewing me first off. Well, yeah, man, what, heartbreak, what's up, pal? bud. Well, I, I wanted to get it done for Noah because I knew he had issues in the back, but. It just got tight on the last lap coming out of four, I think it was. And it just happened. Hit the, I think it was Daniel on the outside there. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, I don't want to say we were cheering when that happened, but uh, it coming down to like the, like a football field and a, a, just left to the line and you have you and Daniel battling like that, you know, it's what you want to see when you're in the broadcast booth or in the stands. But, you know, unfortunately it took you and Daniel both out, but hard racing all night, dude. Yeah, I tried my best. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I haven't been in a position to win a race in like over a year. So this was a huge opportunity for me, but I just got too nervous and made a pretty big mistake at the end. Oh, and it, it happens with everybody, trust me. Even me going back to my heat days, if I had a three-second lead in the last lap, it wasn't enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's relatable. But, dude, you showed a lot of speed tonight. I don't know how you feel about these uh, next-gen cars, but what are your thoughts on them? Because from up here, it was awesome racing all night. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I had a blast tonight. Um I think these cars are great, and I think we should keep them only because I'm competitive in them, and I suck <laughs> in everything else. I can, I can, yeah, um, and... I can relate to that very much. Yeah, but you know, strong race tonight. It sucked the way it finished, but you showed a lot of speed in these next gen cars, and I would think you have a lot to be proud about. For sure, and uh, I just want to thank one of my best friends, uh, Jack's Chaos. He made the paint scheme that we ran tonight, and it was a a special tribute to Noah's grandmother and uh, he wanted to paint a car for Iris and said, here, do it. Awesome, man. Awesome. And, um, well, hopefully we can stick with the next gen cars for what we saw tonight, but I know you guys are going to be doing a lot of testing throughout the week, so. Yes, sir. All right, pal. You have a good night. Thank you for, uh, for jumping in here with us. Do you have anybody you want to thank, like sponsors, people that made the car which you just did which yeah but anybody else uh, i want to thank my team owner ryan billy who uh couldn't make it out here tonight um i tried my best ryan uh hopefully we can get it done next week uh joey styers who was the 23 car he helped me out a ton tonight it was a great job pushing me and i uh, just want to thank him for getting me out front tonight cool my dude um Thank you for joining us up in the booth, and you have a good night. You too. Have a great hey, week. Buddy. Have a great one, man. All right, AJ. Well, bub, that was a crazy night. I know our interview session went a lot longer than it normally does, but with these next-gen cars, I wanted to pick as many brands as possible. Me too. Yeah, I really enjoyed the longer format. We may look at that in the future and see if we can do longer post-race, because it does really help to get multiple lines of feedback, right? Yeah. It sucks the way the race ended um, for him, but, you know, he put on a hell of a show. He was very, very fast. But, you know, you push a little too hard. That's kind of what happens sometimes, but nothing to be upset about. He ran an awesome race, and what an awesome finish. All righty, man. Well, AJ Capoa, I w we will see him in the booth again come Monday once again. So he'll be back with us on Monday when we go right back racing. I'll be here tomorrow night for Apex. Again, a little side, sidebar note here. 
We will be off this Friday, and then we will be live a Saturday night, 11 p.m. Eastern, as we go as throwback racing with the Sim 500 throwback Arca series as well. Can't wait to see that. I am very excited to see that. And then next week, sidebar again, we'll be back Sunday with um. We, let's see who where's smoking tires at. Not sure where they're at, but we'll be back with smoking tires on Sunday as well. Again, AJ, thank you for another great week of broadcasting. Folks, this has been the Thunderstorm League of Racing. Thunder Premier Series. Jane Pompelli 150 from Auto Club. I really hope everyone enjoyed tonight's broadcast. We'll be right back here next week. Let me quickly grab the schedule up and see where we're at. We're going to be in Las Vegas, Nevada next week on the 20th. And then we'll be off the following week. And then, then we'll go to our first uh, short track of the year, Richmond, Virginia, coming up on November the 3rd. Again, thank you for everybody, me, AJ. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure here tonight, folks. Follow Nerds Doing Nerds and Things podcast. All their links in the description below. Follow Extreme Sim TV on Facebook for all the news and notes and upcoming schedules. More and more conversations and breaking news are being broke on Facebook. Now that I have this amazing marketing manager here uh, who may or may not be Coppola as well. So, <laughs> man of many hats, AJ Coppola, and we will see you next week in the Thunderstorm League of Racing. 